But those shots Welton Alexander heard just before one Saturday morning didn't surprise him. Sometimes you hear some shots in the park, yeah. Little did he know at the time, those shots were much different as his neighbor from just down the street, 48-year-old Willie Noble, now faces first-degree murder charges and the death of a 15-year-old girl. They said it was him this morning, and I was just, I was just amazing. Little Rock police say it may have all started with a prank. This is an ongoing friendly feud between teenagers. This time, things took an unfriendly turn when Noble heard noises in front of his South Little Rock home and came out to find his car vandalized. There was toilet paper on the vehicle, a bag of leaves, some eggs, and mayonnaise had been thrown on the vehicle. And police say a car full of seven teenagers, including Adrian Broadway, sitting in the front seat, tried to get away. At that point, he came out of the residence and fired multiple shots at the suspects as they fled the residence. Police found the teenagers and the car with bullet holes in the side at the come and go down the street. Inside, 15-year-old Adrian Broadway unresponsive with a gunshot wound to the head. She died shortly after at Children's Hospital. When those kids left to go out and do this, they did by no means that any one of them think that this was going to be a, a horrible event. They thought that they would, although be uh, a mischievous thing. They didn't think that it would end up being a deadly, a deadly prank, and this ultimately ended up being the uh, a deadly event.